Well, let's talk industry news with CEO of uh, Asia Pacific at Denso Aegis Network, Nick Waters. Nick, what's been on your mind here at the festival this year? Well, I think um, one of the biggest issues in society in general, but certainly in our industry, is trust and transparency. And that's certainly been on the agenda at quite a number of functions and talks. And I think it's very much on the mind of clients and agencies alike. As far as the other big issue, what's your take been on the focus on diversity this year? Uh, healthy, it's good. Uh, I think the industry in the last couple of years has actually started to put a proper focus on it. A lot of debate in the industry. That's that's a good good thing, good start. And I think um, I think there's progress being made, certainly on the agency sector. I think the tech side of the of the industry probably has more progress to make. Quite a lot of disruption within the industry itself, whatever's going on at WPP, whether the network model is right or whatever. What's your take on that issue and whether Denso Aegis is in a good position to go forward? Well, I think it's absolutely true that the holding company model that has served businesses very well for quite a long period of time, that is under severe strain. You don't, don't have to be a genius to recognise that. Um, I think the uh, solution, the answer is to organize the business as one business. We're in the business of selling capabilities and services, not in the business of selling agencies. That's my point of view. It's been our point of view at Dense Regis for quite some time. So we feel we have the right organizational structure and we're better placed than our competitors to deal with the changes going through the market. I was going to say, do you think that is going to be sustainable because marketing is continuing to change all the time? Yeah, it, it, whilst we might be in a better position now than our competitors, we're not complacent and we certainly can't stand still. We really have to keep moving. I hesitate to even use the word evolve. I think we've got to move quicker than evolution. We've just got to keep, keep running to remain relevant. Let's talk about how you've done at the awards this year. I spotted a little lion at the front door. Yeah, there was a Grand Prix for uh, an isobar uh, work last night. It was announced last night which is really good because uh, our line is innovating the way brands are built. And this was um, some work using VR and AR uh, to promote uh, music, music video. Uh, William Corcoran of um, Smashing Pumpkins. It's a complete innovation, never been done before. And it's a high quality piece of work. Beautiful, beautiful crafting. You know, we, we have the point of view, not unique, but we have the point of view that it's creativity which drives business. This is a perfect example of the new world of creativity that can build brands and business. To what extent does winning a lion actually help your business and help you market yourself to potential clients going forward? Well, I think there's a surfeit of industry award functions, but the Can Lions uh, remains the premium global uh, award to win. Uh, and I think it's not just in the agency sector where people you know, place a lot of desire in trying to win an award. I think the client side, those that are serious about building brands and understand brand marketing, I think they place a lot of value in it. Who is the winner then? Is it the agency that is involved or is it the brand itself? If the award drives brand growth or the impact that is you know the objective then the client certainly is and we're very happy to facil facilitate that but um, equally you know we're, it, we're building our reputation through that so we're very happy to be to be winners as well we win as well as far as lines uh, as an entire festival a lot of changes have taken place this year changes to the award structure the actual five-day structure instead of eight. Yeah. What's your take been on that and to do the attendances, which of course the networks were complaining about, it's costing too much? I think that's exactly right. I think the organisers have listened to the agency uh, marketplace. My view is that slimming it down a bit, containing it in five days is a positive move. I think truthfully it got a bit big, a bit bloated. Um, quite hard work for us um, to manage. Uh, um, time, money, uh, I think a, a slimmer, less bloated can lines is better. It seems that there's a lot of business going on here and is it a case that those who need to be here are still here, those who want to be here but don't need to be here, meh, less in numbers? Well, I think uh, you're right. Your first statement is absolutely right. There's a lot of business being done here and uh, that's good. That's healthy. Uh, I still think it is important for the whole ecosystem to be here. Um, it's only once a year after all. I think we can manage to do that. I think it's an important event in our calendar, our industry's calendar. Um, and I think most players in the industry want to be here. Nick, thank you very much. You're very welcome.
Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.